Are you curious about the unknown, the unexplainable? Do you find yourself intrigued by the mysterious and paranormal side of our world? Join us on an adventure into the world of inexplicable discoveries and investigations that may someday give us a final answer as to what may be behind the veil of reality. Then it's time to turn your pods up because we're live to tape from the mountains of West Virginia. It's time once again for Let's Find Out with co-host Diego. The universe is waiting for you. <laughs> Everything in this universe has a beginning. The Big Bang. The formation of nebular matter into stars and planets. The first collections of amino acids in the Earth's oceans. The first creatures to leave them. The first mammals. The first primates that walked upright. The first religion. The first printing press. <laughs> Pump up your space boots and phone home. It's time for Let's Find Out with co-host Diego. Unknown. Live to tape from the mountains of West Virginia. It's Let's Find Out with co-host Diego. Bigfoot, UFOs, Stargates, Let's Find Out. Paranormal, intelligent design, entertainment, Let's Find Out. You're listening to Let's Find Out with co-host Diego. Live to tape from the mountains of West Virginia. Welcome to another episode of Let's Find Out with co-host Diego. Thank you for taking this journey with me on this episode of Let's Find Out. Now, with this story that I'm about to share with you, it surprises me that it hasn't gotten that much coverage online. Now, I understand that it's a local story to Middletown, Ohio, but even the Twitter was quiet on this one. Lucky for me and my friends, I get notices and I do the old-fashioned searching. So picture this. Middletown, Ohio, on Wednesday, June 22nd, around 10.30 p.m., Middletown residents reported witnessing a shocking display of rotating green lights hovering above them. More eyewitness accounts reported that a UFO was maneuvering in a clockwise motion, hovered briefly, darted with action-fast speed across the sky, and then disappeared. Another individual reported he was in his car when he saw the lights. He stated the same accounts as the others, that the craft was moving clockwise fashion and briefly hovered before jetting across the sky, not to be seen again. Now, a resident managed to capture this mesmerizing spectacle on video while on Jerry Couch Boulevard near Butler, Texas, the Swordsville campus. He described his initial reaction as a mix of fear and fascination, exclaiming, I instantly thought like we were under attack by aliens. It was scary. Surprisingly enough to me, the Butler County Sheriff's Office received no calls regarding this incident. You would figure that their switchboard would be lit up and on fire with many calls from the Middletown, Ohio residents reporting this event, but no calls were ever received. Now, a representative of the Cincinnati Astronomical Society stated to a local TV station that the craft appeared to be moving too fast to be a drone. He also added, the real test of authenticity is if you get a lot of reports of the same thing. Otherwise, it's probably a fake. Also mentioning about the software available out there that uses trickery to fake such events. And we all know that this happens a lot when people go out there and try to get likes and shares on their social media. These um, hoaxers out there wasting everybody's time with this nonsense. So before I go, I'd like to share a few observations and opinions. Now I'm not saying anything about this video whether it's authentic or is a hoax. But looking at some of the reports and then the video, I can say this. It seems like the UFO moved so quickly that not many people saw it. It only hovered for a few seconds from what I saw. Then it was gone lightning fast. Now this could explain why perhaps the authorities didn't receive any calls. Either that or no one wanted to call the police and get in trouble by being uh, labeled a, uh, a prankster and getting in trouble and getting a knock on the door. I believe this would have been a mass sighting. If it would have been a mass sighting, there would have been several calls to the police or authorities. Perhaps... The person that captured this footage may have been incredibly lucky to capture this UFO on their cell phone. Now, the phone would have had to been already been ready to record or already recording. The event only lasted a few seconds and it was gone in a flash. So, in my opinion, possibly there wouldn't have been that much time to grab the phone, hit the record button, and point it towards the UFO. 
Now, could this person have been incredibly lucky to already have the phone recording and happen to capture this event? Of course, maybe. Or the witness that took the footage was so super quick to get their phone out and hit record, he managed to capture this UFO. Now, the image is pretty remarkable, and I challenge you to go ahead and take a gander at it. The cell phone video that's out there was taken by resident Bryce Garrick, and I'll put the link in the show's description so you, we can all take a gander for ourselves. I don't own the rights to this video, so I managed to find a 30 to 45 second video of this on YouTube, and it doesn't have anybody else's input, opinions. There's no local coverage from the news on there. It's just a video itself. Please take a look, click on that link, and tell me what you think. I'm very curious to find out. This has been another excellent episode of Let's Find Out with co-host Diego. Please check us out on all our social media pages as well as our YouTube and Rumble channel. Also, Let's Find Out with co-host Diego is now available on Amazon Music, Pandora, and Audible. Thank you for taking this journey with me. Until next time, my friends. Have you always been curious about the unknown, the unexplainable? Do you find yourself intrigued by the mysterious and paranormal side of our world? Then Let's Find Out with co-host Diego is the podcast for you. Join in on an adventure into the world of the inexplicable and get insights from experienced researchers, investigators, and experts. Listen to mind-bending discussions and fascinating stories as Let's Find Out explores the strange, mysterious, and paranormal. Let's Find Out with co-host Diego is a unique and engaging podcast that uncovers the mysteries of the cryptic and unknown. With insightful interviews and discussions, they discover the very latest theories, discoveries, and investigations that may someday give us the final answer as to what may be behind the veil of reality. Available on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Pocket Casts, YouTube, iHeartRadio, Radio Public, TuneIn, and Rumble. Thank you for listening to Let's Find Out with co-host Diego. We're on Spotify, Google Podcasts, TuneIn, Pocket Casts, and on Anchor. For more information about Let's Find Out with co-host Diego, please visit us on facebook.com forward slash co-host Diego, on Twitter at co-host underscore Diego, and on Instagram as co-host Diego. Copyright co-host Diego. All content for Let's Find Out is the property of co-host Diego and is served directly from our servers with no modification, redirects, or rehosting. All celebrity impersonators are paid performers. The impersonated celebrities do not endorse or promote any views or opinions expressed by our guests, co-host Diego, or Let's Find Out. The information shared on Let's Find Out is provided on an as-is basis with no guarantees of completeness, accuracy, usefulness, or timeliness.